Hi guys, today I chose the first 10 pages of the chapter, starting with the learning theory. The chapter started off introducing what it is and how it got this way. I thought these two points are really important. Um, learning is always in progress. It's always helping us adapt to our environment. And then this quote, much like the law of gravity, the laws of learning are always in effect. The first heading was philosophical roots. Um, starting in the 1600s, science underwent a renaissance. Um, Rene Descartes said that human beings are indeed like machines, but only partly so. He distinguished between the human mind and the body and said that the body was an extension of the physical world, a machine that is governed by physical principles like dolls and clockworks. He said the reflex action um, explains the body's activity. And then next we have Thomas Hobbes. He believed that the mind follows physical laws and that all human thought and action is governed by hedonism, the pursuit of pleasure and avoidance of pain. Sorry. Um, next we have the 1700s, starting with Julian de la Mitri. I definitely said that wrong. Um, he believed that the body follows the mind. And then the British empiricists, John Locke and David Hume, they believe that all ideas and knowledge are built up entirely from experience, which is the idea known as empiricism. And then the atomistic approach that believe that the mind only receives simple sensations that are combined up to build all complex ideas. They emphasize the important importance of associations between ideas. And then the laws of association says that two ideas will be associated if they occur closely together in time. And then the opposite of it, Empiricism is rationalism, and this point of view is often associated with Immanuel Kant. The next heading is biological roots, starting in the 1800s with Ivan Seychenov. I definitely said that wrong too. Um, he argued that mental processes could be analyzed in terms of physiological mechanisms um, and thoughts or responses. And then Charles Darwin with his theory of evolution as natural selection. Lastly, the 1900s with Edward Thorndike, he came up with the law, law of effect when a response is followed by a satisfaction and SR connection is strengthened and then vice versa. And then Ivan Pavlov, he studied the salivation in dogs and came up with the conditioned reflex. That's all. Thank you guys.